Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you the authorization setup. Authorization is a crucial process that grants permission for specific treatments or procedures necessary for the patient. Before initiating any medical intervention for a patient covered by medical aid, it is essential to obtain prior approval. This entails contacting the medical aid provider and making the necessary arrangements. In this video, we will start on a data screen. From the data screen, click on a search for data by ID, name, medical aid number search field to search for the applicable data the user wishes to complete an authorization for. As the user types, the data list will populate accordingly. Click on the applicable data. The data sidebar will open. Click on a data edit button. The data detail screen will open. Click on an authorization button represented by a blue heart. The clinical info screen will open. Select the applicable patient from the patient list the user wishes to do the authorization for. With the applicable patient selected, click on the add button. The scheme auth workflow event screen will open. An explanation will now be given for the various fields that will be completed. Authorization code refers to the number received from the medical aid to approve certain procedures and treatments. Click on the authorization code field and type in the authorization code received from the medical aid. From date refers to the date from when the authorization will start. The from date will be adjusted to today's date by default. Click on a from date field which will open the calendar. Click on the applicable date. To date refers to the date to when the authorization will be valid. Click on a to date field which will open the calendar. Click on the applicable date. Description refers to any additional details relating to the authorization. Click on a description field which is a free text field to fill in the applicable information. Show in tasks enable the user to indicate that the authorization will be generated as a new task. For an extensive explanation on tasks, please refer to the task list screen overview user manual linked in this video's description. Click on the show in task checkbox to generate a new task for this authorization. Click on a diagnosis field and complete the diagnosis code. Click on a code field and complete the procedure code. The system will automatically enter the billing code description associated with the billing code into the description field. Click on a quantity field and complete the total number of specific billing code items that have been authorized. Click on the remove button to delete the corresponding line item. Click on the add invoice line button to add a new invoice line which has been approved for authorization. Click on a close button to exit the scheme auth workflow event screen without saving the changes made. Click on a save button to save the changes made and return to the clinical info screen. The user is now able to view the authorization by clicking on the view button. Once again, the scheme auth workflow event screen will open where the user can edit and save the authorization.